WWDC this year was massive. From iOS 18, macOS, Sequoia, Vision OS had some minor updates, Watch OS was meh, and then there was iPad OS, the elephant in the room. What do you think of iPad OS? Let me know in the comments down below. But I'm going to tell you my thoughts. So we got a lot of new features. We have a lot of new things that are just quality of life features. That's really it. You have new customizable floating menu bars that, that instead of having that big side screen, now you just have some menu bars in the middle. And that'll make notes app and emails app a lot more seamless. And I think that'll be really nice. But were we really asking for that? Who knows? Finally, after how many years, 13 years, we have a calculator app on the iPad. And it's not just any calculator app. Apple took their time and they invented, created, whatever, Math Notes. Math Notes is wild. Math Notes is insane. Imagine you are doing some insane math, doing the trigonometry, whatever, stuff that I'm too dumb to do, and your iPad solves it for you instantly. You're able to see graphs at, in real time, able to change the angle of the graph and see how it adjusts the graph in real time. Works with variables, it works with graphs, it works with so many different things, and it's honestly really, really cool. And one of the coolest things is it uses another new feature called Smart Script, where when it answers the math problem, it'll put it down in your handwriting. So Smart Script is a feature where when you're writing, you're writing really fast, you don't have time to think about your handwriting. AI in the background goes and changes the handwriting to be more legible. It's still your handwriting, just a more legible version of it. It's like if you had taken a handwriting class in school and you tried really hard, that's what it looks like. Still your handwriting, just you can actually read it. Something that I'm gonna use all the time. Incredible feature, don't know why we didn't have it before. Now in the notes app, we also have collapsible sections. It's gonna just clean things up. You're able to make you know, another title part in the note and then stuff under it, close it to go to the next one. It's gonna clean things up, make it look much neater, much nicer. That on top of smart script and math notes, the Notes app is getting huge new features this year. I love it. Notes app is one of my favorite apps. I use it all the time. And so seeing it get a lot of new features like this is awesome. I just wish the iPhone would get some new features like that. I wish we could get an Apple Pencil support or we could write notes with on the Notes app with a pencil. That's my dream one day. Next up is screen sharing and remote control in SharePlay. So essentially what that is, is if someone who's not around you has issues with their iPad, you can screen play remote control from your iPad into their iPad and see their screen and adjust their whatever you need to fix for them. So that's really cool for the, you know, family tech person. You know who you are. And screens in Freeform. Honestly, I never use Freeform. I don't really know too much about Freeform. But hey, now you have scenes in Freeform. It's there. There's also a lot of new features that are shared with the iPhone that the iPad now has. You're able to customize app icons, have a dark mode, you're able to theme it with the color of the wallpaper, you're able to put apps anywhere on the home screen, which finally, Control Center is now redesigned. There's now a new rounded design ability to change the size of different icons, new Control Center pages, control, control music from its own page, control home settings on their own page. Also, third-party widgets now are available in the Control Center. So that's going to be really big. That's going to be something that I hope a lot of developers take advantage of because I really want to see a lot of third-party stuff in the home app. A lot of third-party stuff in the control center. Oh, there's also a new power button up top. You can just turn your phone off instead of having to hold down the two buttons and wait for the screen and all that. So that's also really cool. A less convoluted way to turn off your phone. I actually really like that. There's now a new game mode. So the iPhone got a new gaming mode. iPad also has it. So one that allows AirPods Pro 2, second generation, to have spatial audio when playing games, but also reduce Bluetooth latency and less background stuff going on while you're playing games. So you can focus all on the games and the battery of that device is going to mostly give its power to the games, not to whatever background crap is happening. So that's another really cool feature if you game on your iPhone or your iPad. I'm sure this is going to be a big deal for a lot of people. 
but I don't really know how big the gaming community is in Apple ecosystem anyways. If you're here, let me know in the comments down below. Now you have a lot of new text effects as well. You're able to add an effect just to a certain word in the text message. It doesn't have to be to the whole text message. So that's pretty cool. You get emoji tap backs instead of just the five emojis you can choose from. Now you can choose any emoji or generate your own emoji like a T-Rex on a tutu riding a skateboard or surfboard or whatever they had in the keynote. Kind of weird, whatever. I never use tapbacks. A lot of people do. I have always found them as passive aggressive. Who knows? Reminders are not inter integrated with the calendar app. Crazy. Why didn't they, they do that before? It seems obvious. It seems like common sense, right? Apparently not. Photos app has also been redesigned. It's a little bit more convoluted. New recent days tab. You're able to sort through screenshots. So that's also really cool. iPad OS this year, honestly, was kind of a letdown in my opinion. We've been talking for months how the iPad Pro now has the M4 chip, and so WWDC is going to take advantage of that. It's going to be insane. They didn't. Even the new Apple Intelligence AI features just need an M1 or later. What do you think in the comments down below? Does this make iPadOS more useful to you, or does this confirm in your mind iPadOS is not worth it? Till next time, I'm Jake. This is Shot on My Phone.